a little known fact that the German army did conduct some small scale amphibious operations until late 1944. Although it is also true that the German Navy never had a dedicated amphibious arm and often civilian steamers and battleships were mobilized as ad hoc landing crafts for specific operations. The first was Operation Weserübung or Weser Exercise in April of 1940. It was Germany's assault on Denmark and Norway. In this operation the initial invasion force was transported in several groups by battleships of the German Navy. For example, the battleship Scharnhorst and Gneisenau as distant cover plus 10 destroyers transported more than 2000 Gebirgsjäger or mountain infantry troops to Narvik. Next was Operation Beowulf. It refers to a German plan in September of 1941 to occupy the islands of Saarema, Hiuma and Muhu of the Estonian west coast. The islands were garrisoned by altogether 23,000 Soviet troops. The German force allocated to the operation was the 61st Infantry Division, which was reinforced with additional assault pioneers and artillery. The force was transported from the Estonian coast by a fleet of about 100 ferries together with approximately 150 smaller assault boats. The Soviet forces finally surrendered on the 21st of October 1941. Due to local Axis naval and air superiority, none of the Soviet defenders were able to escape. Next came Operation Blücher. It was the cover name for the German-Romanian operations to conquer the Taman Peninsula in September of 1942. Due to the decision to use the majority of the 11th German army for a planned conquest in Leningrad, the plan was greatly reduced. Finally, it began on the 1st of September 1942 with an attack by the Romanian forces on the Taman Peninsula from the east. On the 2nd of September, units of the German 46th Infantry Division and the Romanian 3rd Mountain Division landed on the north and east sides of the peninsula without casualties. This was done with the help of 24 naval ferries and pioneer landing boats. Next came Operation Citronella or Operation Lemon Flavor. Basically it was an 8 hour long German raid on the Spitzbergen in September of 1943. The battleship Tirpitz in its only offensive action and Scharnhorst plus 9 destroyers sailed to the archipelago, bombarded settlements and covered a German landing party. Six Norwegians were killed and 31 were taken prisoners. Next came Operation Polar Bear in October of 1943. It was the cover name of the occupation of the Greek island of Kos. A larger German flotilla carried a task force composed of a battle group from the 22nd German Infantry Division from Crete as well as German special forces assigned to attack the island, all under the command of General Friedrich Wilhelm Müller. On the 3rd of October the invasion began. By midday 1200 German soldiers, well armed with light artillery and armored cars, were ashore and in action. In the afternoon the island was basically occupied. Next came Operation Typhoon, sometimes called Operation Leopard, or the Battle of Leiros. It was the central event of the Dodecanese campaign. After the armistice of the Italian garrison on the Greek island Leiros was strengthened by British forces on the 15th of September 1943. The battle began with German air attacks on the 26th of September and continued with a landing on the 12th of November 1943. Finally, 
it ended with the capitulation of the Allied forces four days later. The German forces assembled for Operation Leopard were again under the command of General Müller. And last came Operation Tanne Ost. It was a German operation in September of 1944 to capture the island of Sursari in the Gulf of Finland before it could fall into Soviet hands. The island was especially important because it worked as a lock in the Finnish Gulf guarding the minefields keeping the Soviet Baltic fleet. The first wave of 1400 German troops landing in companies from the Wehrmacht and the German Navy from Tallinn. All in all, the operation ended in a disaster for the German army and their forces had to be drawn from the island. <laughs>